A local sewing circle has created a surprising quilt from an unexpected location. It's a unique mix of soft fabric and hard facts. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau with more on this week's Street Story. This is going to be great. They're absolutely going to love it. Just beyond the gaze of the sunflowers. I'm going to need you to please thread me another needle. Minimum security hands. Are all the squares done? I'm going to need more thread. To reinforce it. All right. Our sewing therapy. Here, here's right. your needle. Thank you, Walt. What do you talk about uh, while you're quilting? While I'm quilting, I speak about um, goals. Go for the work release again. And we sit here and we talk about the things we're going to do when we leave. I'm working on my parole. And I'll just keep sewing until we meet in the middle. Patricia Lawyer has left the ACI four times. Is this the last time? I'm hoping it is. Go well, that way so I don't run into you. I'm tired of this life. I'm really tired of this life. And I'm old, so I just want peace. The quilt is part of a Providence Center substance abuse treatment program, and the 60 plus patches include the names of friends and loved ones who never found that peace. Who's Freddie? Pauline Moran added this one in memory of a boyfriend who tried to help her stay in recovery and out of prison. And while I was here, he ended up having an overdose on drugs. The butterfly theme is about transformation and the hands that stitch the needles and thread. Also hold hope to honor the people behind the patches by getting out and living clean. Because you remember them and where they were, it's heartbreaking seeing the people that you knew because now that they're, they're gone and they'll never come back. I got it, I got it. My fingers are too fat. There you go. Oh, thanks, Walt. You're the bomb. Up next for the quilt, it will travel the state with its patches, names, and the stories behind them. On Fleming Road in Cranston, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.